four calciums. They've made them little rectangles. So notice it's conformational change. It starts out more blobby, and then it develops a site whereby a protein can bind once the calmodulin has bound itself to four calciums. And then that inactive protein can slide into that active site and become active. This extra arrow here is cellular function. So either directly, this is acting on a, so this protein can either act on another protein that directly affects function, or it can become another messenger, which can eventually act on another protein. It depends. There are a lot of roles for calcium-dependent proteins. But this is how this works. So one more time. Um, and then I can put it on the board if you want. So we have calmodulin in its inactivated, non-calcium bound state. We add four calciums to the four different binding domains, and we get calcium bound or calcium activated calmodulin. This binds now, the active site for this has changed so that it can bind to an active protein because this inactive protein was the wrong shape and now here it binds and it changes the shape of this protein so that it's active. This protein is often an enzyme so that the enzyme can activate something else or perform a job in the cell, but it doesn't have to be. It can be something else as well. So, oh,